Hey guys, in this MKBHD video we're going to be revisiting what I think is the single most underrated piece of hardware out there today. There are a lot of consumer electronics that I could have talked about, but I know it's a bit of a random video, but I want to talk to you guys today about the Zune HD by Microsoft. I'm even going to be crazy enough to put it out there as my number one MP3 player over everything else out there. Yeah, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, well, you know, it's the holiday season, everyone just got their iPod Touch, and Microsoft really just missed the boat with the holiday season sales and the Zune HD 2, and none of that really working out, but still, nevertheless, I think the Zune HD really deserves a shot. So let me go ahead and take a look. The awesome pocketable design of the Zune HD is arguably best in its class and all the buttons around it are really nicely laid out by Microsoft with the home button up the front, reminds you of the iPod Touch of course, and the power button up top and everything is just nicely spaced. Also keep in mind it's only 9mm thick so it's thinner than the thinnest of the MP3 players out there, very very lightweight as well. It has an all black design in the black version and you can also get a platinum version which is a combination of silver and black and that looks really good too. The front of the device boasts a 3.3 inch high resolution OLED display. This contributes to a number of things. First of all, it's ridiculously long battery life. I can literally unplug this thing off the charger and it'll go for a week without charging. Second, it contributes to a very nice, responsive, and fun to use UI. The user interface of the Zoom HED is based off of an original operating system that they later brought over to the Windows Phone 7 platform. But it's really, as you can see, really intuitive, really responsive, and it's classified mostly by speed. So if you've ever used a Zune HD, you know that even without a gigahertz processor, it is a really fast device. You can also learn to navigate around it within a, probably about an hour learning curve. There really isn't that much to learn when getting to use a Zune. You also get to know the hardware buttons on the side of the device pretty quickly, and you'll get to controlling your music in your pocket pretty soon, even without looking at the screen. In fact, I found that it's easier without a click wheel to actually, you know, adjust the volume and do things in my pocket when I'm not looking at the device. Things that you just kind of think of, like swiping to go to the next track, or dragging up and down to increase or decrease the volume, are all things that just kind of come naturally, which decreases the learning curve to the Zoom HD. Now there are two main things that really separate the iPod Touch from the Zune HD, and I hope you watch this far into the video. The two things are the marketplace and the actual gameplay of applications. Now the Zune HD has that OLED display and colors really pop when you're actually playing apps uh, versus the Retina display which is an IPS display but still is really nice. And also the marketplace in the Zune HD. I mean, let's face it, it sucks. It's really not that great. It doesn't have that many applications. But I'll tell you what, application gameplay of that Ferrari app, which is one of the key apps that, that really got me, you know, really hoping for the Zune HD, is incredible. It's really, really fun. It's difficult to show you because of the way recording a screen with a camcorder works, so there's lines on the screen. Those aren't really there. But the, the application gameplay is actually just phenomenal. I couldn't get enough of it. People next to me in school would be looking over my shoulder like, what is that device? You know, what are you playing that on? Because that looks really cool. And I had to tell them it was a Zune, and their jaw probably just dropped right onto the floor. So overall, to wrap it all up, if you're looking for a device that is A, a great media experience for both high definition music and high definition radio, B, is very sleek and portable and even pocket operatable, and C, is just an overall clean, uh, clean lines device, nice fancy, just looks really good overall, I highly, 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 highly recommend the Zune HD. I can't even stress enough how underrated this device has been. I uh, can't believe that people who call themselves geeks haven't even heard of or haven't even given a chance to the Zune HD. It does all the little things right, from the, the sweet design to Zune Pass to HD Radio, just all the little things. It just has it all together in this device, and I really, really recommend it. So, I mean, it's kind of like I've just written a promo for Microsoft or some, it's like a YouTube channel that has been doing work for years but hasn't gotten the exposure it's deserved. Uh, this is definitely the type of, of device you want to check out. So until next time, this has been MKBHD. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to go ahead and check out the new channel design for MKBHD, you can visit that as well. Until next time, MKBHD signing out. Peace.